What's up my friends, today we're back and we're talking about wiring a sprinkler system. Now if you want to know why the heck we're talking about sprinklers, I've got a video you got to go check out. It's the whole story and it's a good story. But today we're going to show you the wiring that we're doing. Uh, so this is a little bit more tutorial style. I got to start out by talking a little bit about sort of the philosophy here. What I've done is I have run valves to a whole bunch of different sections of this huge garden. But because I put the valves all around, I had to run wires to each individual one. Now, normally you do have to run wires to all the valves, but in a lot of like little backyards in suburban neighborhoods, they'll put all the valves in one box. But I've run sprinkler wire everywhere. You can see I did it while we ran the sprinkler pipe. So that's all in and I have pipe running to all the valve boxes. Today, I want to walk you through kind of the setup and why we put the valve boxes where we did. But also I'm going to walk you through how to wire up one of those and then show you our cool setup that we have here that is a self-contained unit. It powers itself and uh, powers the whole brains of the whole system. So that'll be coming here in this video as well. So for this system right now, we have nine valves. We put a valve out here. This one feeds all of the trees and it's gonna be number one. But as we move kind of clockwise around the garden, yeah, there's a valve over here and another one over here and it's just gonna move sort of clockwise and then go down that line. And we're gonna go in that order with our valve numbering so that it's really easy as we hook up all the wires. And then later when we need to program it to know exactly which valve goes with which number. Almost can't make that easier to wire. You just shove them in from the bottom. Doesn't get much better than that. Okay, so then I've got my control box. Um, this is on the outside of this unit here cause well, it's in an enclosed box that's literally made for being able to be outside. All of my wires, for, from all the valves are all coming into this one box. The white ones just go here where the white goes and the color ones just plug in to the associated number. So yellow was valve number one. So I've got it in spot number one. And when it's time to program the unit, station number one will be whichever wire, whichever valve goes to whichever wire. So station number one for me will be that valve that waters the trees. And like I said before, we're gonna kind of work our way clockwise around the garden. So in the future, I actually have a few more spots and I let the wire run all the way down there so I could add future valves. I'll just keep that same pattern. So it's always easy to remember which valve goes to which because honestly, like nobody remembers this stuff. All right, so here was the other problem that I had when I started dreaming up doing this for my dad. And that is that we don't have power run all the way out here. And I didn't want to run a trench all the way from the house and put it in a new circuit just to be able to get water to a sprinkler system. So instead, I went the lazy route that actually gives us another benefit. I came up with this entirely like self-contained, self-powered unit. It's run by a single 100 watt solar panel, which is gonna be more than enough power. And this panel, if we come inside the box, and it's the reason for the box here, this panel runs through a little charge controller and that charges this battery. I actually had an extra car battery for my Suburban and this is gonna hold plenty of power. So even if it needs to run at night, even if it needs to run when it's been cloudy for a week, it's got more than enough power. And then coming off the battery, it runs to this inverter. This is just like the kind of inverter you would put like in your car to be able to power it off of like the DC power in your car. But this is taking the DC power from a 12 volt battery and giving me this uh, 110 volt outlet. So I can actually take just a regular plug and plug it in here and turn it on and it's gonna power our sprinkler system from all the way out here. Now the benefits of this are, as you can tell, one, I didn't have to run power all the way from the house. But two, it's an off-grid system that's not dependent on the utilities, which I love, right? Self-reliance is all about not having to depend on everybody else. So now we can run our system that depends on the irrigation district without having to depend on the power company. But as we talked about in another video, we don't even have to depend on the irrigation district. Make sure you check out that other video to see how we did that too.